Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this TGIF. It is Friday, November 22nd, 2024. Wearing an appropriate t-shirt. Elvis has not only left the building, but I am leaving Las Vegas today. Going to the airport, have a layover. Check out my hotel here at the Flamingo. Love staying here. Stayed here about a week. Would stay here again. Never had stayed here before. Love the proximity to the Strip and to the general vicinity of Vegas attractions. Layover in Atlanta, flying Delta Airlines. Landing tonight, just shy of midnight Florida time. I do lose three hours going from the west back to the east coast from where I'm at right now. My flight departs, I think, around 1.50. And I do have that connecting flight with a brief, brief hour-ish layover in Atlanta. I'm inviting you to join me. It's good to have you here. I'm going home, Alaska and Vegas now home shall you all right i made it in took an uber over took a little longer than normal and the price was inflated a little bit because it is race weekend i went to the f1 practices yesterday today there are practices and then saturday i believe the actual race happens there's a lot of people pouring into vegas my hotel lobby was really busy when i was checking out all right over here at the d gates doesn't look too bad all right got through the checkpoints did i collect my belongings laptop had to come out of the bag go in the tray this had to go in its own tray. Shoes had to come off. Bell had to come off. Put that back on. Went pretty, pretty smoothly. I'm not sure who's still using a cell phone like this, but yeah. Got to go to the D gates. Am I going to catch this monorail in time? Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, oh, that's a fail. Ooh, this one's open. This one's open. This one's open. Oh, that's a fail. Can I get the other one? Oh, they're all gone. They're all closed. Womp, 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 womp. It's almost noon. I think my flight boards a little after one, so I got plenty of time. Oh, look, it's the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular fans. Same ones. Big ass fans. That's the company. Took the monorail. Well, I guess it's a monorail. It's a transportation device. Exited off, and now I'm going to be leaving Las Vegas. I'm going to be leaving Las Vegas. I had a good time. Definitely a nice little change between Alaska and what Florida will be. By the time I arrived tonight, I'll have been gone three weeks on this last little journey. I like doing like two or three little, little two or three weeks little journey. When I start my international stuff next year, I'm going to try to go between two and three weeks each month. Maybe two weeks. Two weeks to 20 days, let's call it. And then go home for a week to 10 days. I'm not going to be home long after I get home either. Maybe a week? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm getting out of town just before the insanity begins with the F1. Again, I did go to a little uh, teaser of the F1 yesterday with the practice. And that was kind of busy, but nothing of what it's going to be like here this weekend. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. About an hour or about 45 minutes to an hour till boarding begins. It is a little brighter today. This is the most sun that I have probably seen since I have departed Florida over three weeks ago. There was no, really no sun in Alaska. There was a little bit of sun, but it was even shaded by the clouds. And then my time here in Vegas has been a little, ooh, I almost, this kind of, this buckled, this right here. I should have probably been standing on the vent, but yeah, it's, it's definitely sunny. I got myself a piping hot caffeinated beverage. Luckily I held on to that. All right, gonna go towards the, towards the gate. I wasn't even thinking they probably have a Delta Sky Lounge here to have coffee at. But I wasn't thinking I went ahead and just purchased a coffee as well. Well, they probably have a Sky Lounge here, but I just forgot about it. Look how TSA here is a whole other level. This isn't, I mean, this isn't, I've already gone through the checkpoints, but yeah, it's the first thing I thought of other than like a Terminator 
version of here at this little store. Yeah, I don't know if this is Delta or not, but there is a club here. So if you get a little souvenir from the Formula One, I'm not getting any souvenirs from the Formula One, but they do have it. Even though I do like these like bigger little bags right here that you can walk in the $5 totes. Yes, right here in the airport gate waiting area, there are slots. Hopped over here to the wheel of fortune. And these are 25 cent spins. I put $20 in, I've already done two spins. And this will just uh, waste some time until it's time for me to board. Yeah, get their 20 bucks in. Usually never win. I did have some pretty good luck this time in Vegas on slots, but right now, it just this is better, more entertaining than sitting there staring at a wall. So a little lady that's working here that if you win big, you, she gives you the money. She was saying that recently a guy won 1.5 million here, here in this airport. He left his mom at the baggage claim and ended up winning over a million dollars. I don't think you're gonna win it on a 25 set machine like this, but yeah. And I had no luck whatsoever with that $20, so I'm just gonna walk away. I had a pretty good week in Vegas, so I definitely came out on top. Look at Frankenstein. This looks like a fun one. It's like Universal Monster Frankenstein action right there. I'm not gonna be, oh look, that's actually a nice comfort. It's like a two-seater. That's like a, either that or for just like a really big person like me. Gift shops here, they do sell gum. Some airports do, some don't. We were taking off with Delta. I flew Alaska here a couple times when I was up in Alaska. I flew Delta to Alaska, but then when I was going around the humongous state, I was doing Alaska Air. But I'm back on the Delta Airline. Monkey right here. It's almost like a baseball rally monkey, except it's a Vegas rally monkey. All right, it's 65 degrees now currently in Vegas. Currently in celebration. It is pretty dang nice. This is a good time for me to be going home. 67 degrees now. I'm going to be landing at midnight Florida time because you do have that time difference. It's going to be 49 degrees at home at midnight. If not, come see me at D42, and I'll be happy to add it to your reservation. Sun's out, they got the little blinds down. Also, the first day I've ever used Sky Miles. I've racked up a lot of Sky Miles already since I've been using my Amex card with Delta. And they had, I was sitting in Comfort Plus today, and there was a couple of first class seats, and I used a few of my Sky Miles to upgrade without having to spend any money. I mean, I've already spent money buying the flights I've been flying with the with Delta and the Amex for the last six, seven months, but I've racked up a lot of Sky Miles in my travels, and I used a few of them. So now I have a an upgraded seat where I didn't have to take any money out of out of my wallet or anything, which is kind of nice. Uh, first time using this Sky Miles program. Probably won't be the last year. I still got some other miles in there, but I usually try not to use them unless I need to. But because I do not have my Amex, because my wallet was lost and the, the new card is gonna be at home when I get home, I don't have that attached. So all the flights that I already had booked are already are already being used. So instead of trying to link up the other card that I don't have until I get home until my mailbox, I just went ahead and used the Sky Miles. I know it's confusing, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what I did. All right, I am sitting in seat 4A. Four A, four Alpha, or four Adam. Yeah. Kind of hazy looking out there. It's a little dirty. Yeah, you can kind of tell that. As long as your device set up to airplane mode or the cellular network turned off. Our flight time is 3 hours 23 minutes. Passengers sitting in an exit row, please review your exit seating responsibilities in a safety card in your seat pocket. If you are unable to...
I'd see the Hoover Dam, but I think I just out of frame, or maybe I'm not going right over it. Pretty good view of the strip, though, when we were taking off. Really good view of the strip. It's amazing. Once you get out of Vegas proper, it's just desert. Global Airlines partners, thank you for choosing us. Our priority on this flight is safe, clean, and comfortable experience for you. When you see any please stay seated. Then you should put security fast and in case you experience unexpected traffic. Please use caution when opening our fed bins as items may have shifted you. I just love looking out the windows at scenery. I love scenery. Pretty potential and hazards. Federal regulations require all customers to comply with the current instructions and prohibit the use of cellular networks during flight. They use a Wi-Fi to make voice or video calls is not Okay, this is awesome. Grand Canyon action here. Mexico now. It almost looks like there's snow down there. I think there is. In the elevated areas of New Mexico. And covering some ground. Also got a little meal, a little chicken meal.
right and block position, and armrest is load. Table is stowed. All uh, laptop computers and other large electronic devices have to be stowed at this time under the seat in front of you. We will be landing shortly. transportation device over to the T-Gates to catch my connecting flight. Or I could just take this and walk over to the T-Gates. I always like walking through here with the, it's like, it's like a little foliage on the roof, like illuminated foliage. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be, but that's kind of the impression that I got. All right, one thing's for sure. If you ever have to go from A or B gates over to the T-Gate, it is really an undertaking if you gotta go a long way, go up and down, escalate. It's like, it's like a maze to get to the tea guys here. Actually, a good thing I had like an hour before the next boarding, because if I'd had like a half hour and was rushed, I probably wouldn't have made it. Because you gotta, like he's, he's definitely running. Got about a half hour till my flight boards. T2 is down there. This is right next to T6. So I think I'm gonna check out the Sky Club. Oh, pretty well, I gotta make this quick. This one closes in 15 minutes. So take a look at these little robots here. This is like one of those things that you go on at a uh, drive-in, and then it has a Viewmaster for a head, a little pop culture combination with a robot. You got some like pool balls here, and then you also have a little uh, video camera right there. A little old telephone making up, a, making up a dog right there. Now, make up myself an Americano right here. Everyone's heading out. It's 8.53, closing up at nine. And I gotta run over and board. We gotta wait till we get on the plane. <laughs> Generally speaking, when placing those larger roller bags in the overhead bins on this particular aircraft, if you turn them sideways on their on their sides like a book on a bookshelf, we do have a 93% probability of accommodating everyone's luggage on the airplane. So once again, turn those bags on their sides like a book on a bookshelf. That will help us accommodate more bags on the aircraft. We return trip home. We still have quite a few of your fellow passengers standing in the jet bridge awaiting to join you guys on board. By my count, there are 74 passengers all right, since I'm sitting in an exit seat, I have to follow the exit seat criteria. These are the responsibilities of opening the door. Each number corresponds with the photos here. Also, we're uh, waiting on we're waiting on the pilots to show up because the last the pilots were on another flight, so about 30 minutes delayed. Maybe about 15 minutes before we depart, so definitely gonna be a late arrival to Orlando. This is also a really tight seat. So the upgrade that I got, the upgrade that I had did not correspond to sitting in the same seat section for the second flight. It says starting the application. I don't think this TV works. Doors for departure, cross check, and await all calls. 
Yeah, I'm so used to always looking out the window. It's going to be weird, like, trying to peer hole through this little fisheye thing right there. I always get a window seat, but I didn't realize I was going to be able to look out one, so I'm kind of getting claustrophobic in this spot. Also, I won't be able to look at the flight path. And also, this is a really... So this is an exit road. You can't reach to turn the air up and down. That's as far as I can go. So you can take another foot up there towards that. Just little things. Yeah, it's weird that I'm feeling like so claustrophobic in this spot. I think it's because I can't really look out a real window. It's kind of my thing. I do have plenty of leg room, which is nice, but the seat is like really tiny, like squished in here. I think the leg room is more important.
landed. It is 12.08, just after the cusp of midnight. And in the three weeks I have been gone from this airport, they put their Christmas tree up. Back just in time for the holidays to get in full swing. You know, it's interesting. The first section of the flight was about three hours. The second leg of the flight was about an hour. And that second leg seemed about 10 times longer than the first one. It was really crunched in there and just like shoved in that corner. I didn't have, I didn't have leg room. But other than that, the rest of it was kind of not the, not the most comfy. And then that little window, I was trying to, it's weird because I start going, I start getting, I'm trying to think of the word. I start kind of losing it a little bit when I feel claustrophobic and I can't look out a window on a plane. I feel like that's why I enjoy flying is like looking out the, out the window. I don't know. It's just like a weird tick I have, but I felt like I was on the, I felt like I was on the submarines at Disneyland, the Finding Nemo subs now. I was like looking at those little windows. <laughs> That's what it felt like. And this, the flight attendants were like looking at me, like, "What's this guy doing? Filming out this little tiny hole in the side of the emergency door?" <laughs> anyway, I, I landed. Uh, that one's already filled up, so I'll get on the next one. Well, that's like that one's like crammed like sardines in there. It's like really, really packed. I think everybody kind of jumped on the first one. Maybe the second one will have a little more elbow room. Is that anything even going to move? All right, successfully took the gate link. Feels good to be back in Florida for a little while, for a little while. Also kind of a weird feeling when I return back to Central Florida. Going on. Christmas tree up in here as well. They have a covering the fountain that was not up when I departed. It's crazy, honestly. I don't remember. Maybe it was up. I don't think it was up. I don't think it was up. I don't remember. It's been a when you're gone that long, <laughs> you forget things. Hello there. Man, it is quiet in here. A robot Zamboni, automated Zamboni, a robot, unmanned, no human Zamboni. Wow, I was in Alaska, I saw a Zamboni that had a human on it. Here in Orlando, humanless, humanless Zamboni. It's a human-less Zamboni. Cleaning in progress on this Zamboni. All right, I have to go out to one side and catch the little shuttle over to the economy lot, the south economy lot behind the 7-Eleven, because when I arrived here, parking was all full. I'll get my car, drive home. Let the jet lag begin the next few days. Serious jet lag. Serious jet lag will be happening. This is South Park, maybe this is it. I think last time I did this, I don't remember the, it being a full bus, but it was just like a shuttle. If yeah, this is in fact the right bus, ask the driver. So the one that goes behind 7-Eleven. Right now I'm the only one on it. All right, success. Way over here. Feels good out here. What the heck? Florida weather is nice right now. Yes. I could almost put my flamingo hoodie on that I got when I was wearing it in Vegas. I mean, it's like at that cusp. It's like, it's not cold, but it, it's so nice and cool out here. I like it. What the heck, Florida? I arrived back at the right time. It's a really bizarre feeling when you've been driving a variety of rental cars, rental trucks, not having a car. And then after three quarters of a month, you know, three weeks, you get back in your own vehicle and it feels like 
you don't even know what you're driving. It takes a little, you're like, wait, this is my car? Good thing you're here, Bigfoot.